Well, we are now in Schmarkald and the city has 40,000 people and it's uh, quite, well, area is quite famous for skiing uh, on the winter time. The heat is really important for, for a city like this one that is located on such a mountain area. This is the so-called Crosses High House, uh, IA bigger heating house, where we have installed uh, three C200s. The turbines are new and they're working quite nicely and steadily. The balance of the plant consists of two gas compressors, steam boilers, pumps and a control system to automate operation of the plant. In the past, we produced heat through natural gas steam boilers. Germany is trying to find ways not only to produce heat, but with a central heating plant, heat and electricity. This is the goal we are trying to reach with central heating plants in different areas in Schmalkalden. District heating houses or this kind of boiler houses are needed so that there's a district heating network in the, in the city. And this way the people are connecting their houses to the, to the network instead of having their own boilers in every single house. And this way you get the uh, economics of scale working on your heating solutions as well. This boiler house is, is um, uh, taking care and, and delivering the heat for approximately 3,000 apartments. Altogether something like 20 industrial buildings including the uh, local Fachhochschule, i.e. the uh, University for Applied Sciences. Microchip and plant that what we have there is, is uh, you can divide it into two sections. So there's uh, two uh, C200 turbines working with the natural gas and then one that is working with the biomethane. I, we are uh, buying biomethane from, from the grid. We have the first uh, one third of the plant working with the biomethane already now and the plan is to have it totally working with the biomethane. The electrical efficiency of those, those turbines is uh, about 33%. The micro turbines provide sufficient heat for our needs in the summer months. During those months we do not have to run the boilers. Not having to run the boilers in the summer extends the life of the equipment and produces energy savings. The buffer is used when the network does not need the full power load. It collects the heat then gives it back when the heat requirements are higher than the performance of the turbine plant. The boiler does not have to be used during that time. The Capstone C200 microturbine provides much higher overall efficiency in combined heat and power applications than a reciprocating genset. We observe a wonderful overall efficiency of 80 to 85 percent. We needed heat and this system provided that alongside electricity production. When considering the microturbine generator, not many companies make the technology for it and Capstone is the only one that provides a good product.